Good morning, you amazing great Thors. So it is Madame Lassard here with you today, and I am going to teach you how to make a watercolor jellyfish. Mrs. Landry and I were speaking, and we thought that you guys have been working so hard, and we wanted to put up something that would just be fun and that you could follow along with. So to begin, we do need a little bit of some supplies before we can get started. So I'm just going to go through what you are going to need in order to do this project. To start, you are going to need some form of paper. Now, I'm using watercolor paper just because I have it at home. You might not have it. That's okay. I am going to say that you're going to want either some sketch paper, watercolor paper, or a piece of cardstock. The regular paper isn't going to work on this just because it is too thin. Okay, we will be adding a lot of water, but that's okay. So whatever paper you have is perfect. You're going to need two pieces of paper towel. You are going to need your watercolors. I am going to be doing this project using the watercolor pad that you guys had at school, which is awesome. You are going to need either an old plate or something fun like that to mix with. I actually have like a mixing tray that I'm going to use. You're going to need a tub of water. And you are going to need paint brushes and a pencil. Okay? So if you need to go grab those materials, this would be a really good time to go do that because I am just going to continue going forward and showing you how to do it. So um, this is, sorry, this is kind of what we're going to be going for. We're going to be learning how to make a cute little watercolor jellyfish. That's one I did. And uh, here's another one that I did. I think I... I like both of them, but I kind of like this one a little bit better just because it pops a little bit more. So I'll show you how to make the cute little bubbles and everything like that, okay? So, to get started, like I said, you are going to need a piece of paper. Now, I am using watercolor paper. If you don't have that at home, that's okay. Um, and we're going to get started. So, to start off, you're going to need a pencil. What I want you to do is you're going to draw a little... half bubble kind of in the corner just like that. Now it can be as big or as small as you want. You don't want to make the lines too dark. You're going to notice that mine are a little bit darker than yours will be just because I'm showing you on the video. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil very lightly just do some little squigglies across like that. Okay, so that's going to be the top of the jellyfish. After we do that, we're going to do the inside part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some more little squigglies. Just like that. And we're going to make another one on the right hand side that's a little bit shorter. Okay. So that's the first part. Once we're done that, we're going to start to add in a little bit of extra detail. Now the reason that we're going to sketch it out first is because it does make it a lot easier for you to paint it once we're done with it. Okay, so next up what we're going to do is we are going to kind of make this into a whimsical jellyfish. So I'm going to start on the left side. I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to do another one. I might have a crossover here. There you go, but you can still see it. Another one. And I like to do about five, and you have them cross over because, as we know, jellyfish just kind of float in the sea. And so it's not going to be perfectly straight. The more whimsical it is, the better. So now that we're there, that's pretty simple. We now are just going to kind of start coloring it in, okay? So I'm going to start by taking my watercolor pad. Now my watercolor pad is the same one that a lot of you guys have. You will notice that it has some different colors in it, but I might not necessarily want these colors. And so we're going to have to use some of our mixing skills to get the colors that we actually want, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your paintbrush. I am using this one. You can see that it's got um, a pointed end and it's really comfortable to use. So I'm going to grab my water. I'm going to grab my watercolor mixer. And I'm going to actually pick up some white to start. So I'm going to grab my white. And I'm going to put that in one of my trays. 
and I might pick up some more white. The reason for that is that I don't want red. I don't want a red jellyfish. I really actually want a pink jellyfish. So I'm going to grab my, my red just like that, and I'm going to mix it in. Okay. So there you go. I have my pink now. Might add some more water so it's a little bit more of a watercolor paint. There we go. Um, and then I might decide I want another color. So you're going to want different colors for your, um, oh, for the parts coming down from the jellyfish. So I might take my red here, add in some more. There we go. It's looking a little pink. I'm going to mix in some purple to kind of make it more into a movie color. There we go. Okay, that went bright, bright purple. That's okay. Because the best part about watercolors is you just add more paint and water and it'll make it into beautiful colors. So there you go. So now I have more like a lilac color. That looks beautiful. Okay. And then I also am going to do a second one, or a third one, sorry, and I'm actually going to do it a little bit of a turquoise. Mix that in and add in some purple. There we go. So, now I have the three colors mixed that I want. You can do any colors you want. You could do blue, you could do green. Make it whimsical, make it your own. That's totally fine. Just make sure that when you are in between colors, you're really making sure that you are washing off your paintbrush, okay? So, the next set that we're going to do, oh, I've got a little bit of water there, that's okay, just clean it up, is we're gonna take our paintbrush without any paint on it, and we are going to go over the bottom of this. You're going to paint the water in between that kind of thicker part. There we go. Now the reason for this is we're going to do something called wet on wet. So you can kind of see that it's a little bit wet down there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take one of my colors, then I really rinse it out, and I am just going to go over where I just painted. This is going to give it almost like a glowing effect. It's going to look really cool. So you're going to make sure you're staying in the lines. That's really important. Picking up more as you need it. You can kind of see it spreading as I put it over the water. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. Water colors are never going to be perfect because we're just learning. Okay, so I've done one. You can see that I kind of went outside the lines there. That's totally fine. Now I'm going to go do the other one. And again, just painting where you added the water so you can kind of see it spreading, and that's okay. Okay. Now you are going to want to let that dry. If you have a blow dryer, you can absolutely use that. I am not going to use one for the sake of me showing you how we are doing this, okay? Next up, what we're going to do actually, is we are going to do up top here. So what's going to happen is you're going to draw off your paintbrush a little bit. You're going to go dip into whatever color you want. I'm going to go with blue. And you're going to follow the inside, making sure that you're just kind of following the lines that you've drawn. Okay. Again, it's not looking perfect. Is that okay? Of course it's okay. okay. And I actually need some more paint, and that's okay. So you might pick up some more paint. Mix it in. Okay. There you go. You can see that I kind of mix a different color, and that's okay. It'll look really cool when it's all done. So you just want to make sure that that top part is completely covered. And next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your paintbrush, and this is kind of cool. You're going to take it, make sure there's lots of water on it. You're just going to dab some water over top of it. What that's going to do is it's going to kind of 
take some of the color, spread it around, and it's going to make it look like this. So you can kind of see that there's an outline. That's what it's going to do. Same down here. You can see I did my one a little different there, but like this, it almost looks tie-dye. I kind of like it. So you're just going to make sure it's not too wet, but wet enough that it does that. Of course, you'll have to let that dry. That's okay. Next up, what we're going to do is we're actually going to start doing the rest of the jellyfish. So you're going to want to pick three different colors. The reason for that is you want it to be bright, bold, beautiful, whatever you want it to be. But you want to make sure that they stand up. And you have to have a steady hand for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab some of your color. You're going to start by just very gently going over the lines. Now, of course, we will be able to erase those lines once we're done. Is it perfect? Nope. Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going over here. And you can kind of see how I've crossed it over. It looks cool. I like it. Okay. Now I'm going to pick a different color. Okay. I'm going to go for more of a purpley. Same thing. You're going to start very carefully. Oh, I like that. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay. And some of them are going to be lighter and darker than others. That's okay. We're going to do another one. You can kind of see how it's its almost like it's glowing. I like it. Might choose to do one a little darker, and that's okay too. Okay? So there you go. That's how I decided to do my C, and that's okay. Might choose to add a little bit more water. Mm. And give it that glow effect. Okay, and next is time for the bubbles. So what I like to do is I want to make it a huge contrasting color. So I'm going to go with like my deep blue, kind of like this color. I'm going to take that, add it to my palette. When it's here, I'm going to add some water. Now the bubbles are kind of the most fun parts. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your brush is full of this very carefully. You're going to draw a circle. Just like that. And I normally like to do them two up there. Kind of three over here. Pick up colors you need. Doesn't matter if they're different shades or bigger, smaller. So you can see I have two up there, three over here, and I'm going to go for like one over here. And when you're at this stage, we're going to do something. We're going to make them look like bubbles. The way you make them look like bubbles, you can see, is you kind of have like dark on the outside and lighter on the inside. We're going to pick up your paintbrush again. You're going to drop a dot of water in there. You kind of see that, I think. Drop a dot of water. Drop a dot of water. Drop a dot of water. Water. There you go. That's going to make some bubbles. And then when it's all dry, you are going to have a beautiful jellyfish just like this. And remember that the more imperfect it is, the more whimsical and unique it is. You want to make it beautiful. You might choose to have super long and whimsical rays just like that. Or you might try to do one bigger one just like this. It's your choice. You can see I kind of messed up on the bubbles over here, but I like it. It makes it look cool. Okay, have fun and I can't wait to see your creations. Take care, grade fours.